Amen. Praise to the Alpha and Omega. Praise to the eternal word of God who came and dwelt among us. Praise to the one who died on the cross Jesus. for the sin of mankind. Jesus. Praise to the risen Lord Jesus Christ who rules and reigns. Amen. Praise to the one who redeemed us. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is essential figure in Christian faith. Our faith is focused on Jesus, who is the author of the life. Yet, Muslim faith focused on Muhammad, and Islam teaches Muhammad is the best example to mankind. Today, we will just have a quick look at Muhammad versus Jesus. Jesus is because Muhammad has been followed by 1.84 billion Muslims. Muhammad comes after Jesus and discredits the teachings of Jesus. Muhammad is the reason, according to Christian scripture, 1.84 billion Muslims are going to end up in hell. Let's no. first look yes. at no, their no. birth. No. So according to Christian scripture, Yaya, to correct Yaya, your deception with the Trinity, because the Jesus teach the Lord our uh, God is one. According to Christian scripture, and he didn't Jesus up. was born from virgin your as God. a yeah. sinless God. person. E God. Even in the Islam, even in your own Islam, you believe that Jesus was born of a virgin, yeah? This is from the Quran. This is from the Quran itself, written about Jesus being born by a virgin. And the angel says, O oh Mary, indeed God gives you good news of a word from him, whose name will be the Messiah Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and in hereafter and of those who are near God. The angel informs Mary that Jesus, the Messiah, will have special miracles. He will speak to the people to the cradle and in old age, and he will be righteous. And Mary, hearing this shocking news in disbelief, and startles Mary, says, My Lord, how can I have a kid if I never, if no man has ever touched me? And the angel reaffirming God, God's omnipotence, says, So it will be, God creates that He wants. I'm, I'm not even talking to you, sir. Because Jesus was born by a virgin. Was Jesus born from a virgin? She was. He was. As Jesus was born from a virgin, comparing that with Muhammad, Muhammad was born from a sinful woman, and Muhammad was a sinful man. Comparing that, who would you follow? Did you follow a sinless person who is perfect and there is not spot in it? Or would you follow sinful and sinful man? Let's look at some of the sins of Muhammad. What, what are the sins this sinful man did? Although we don't necessarily know what exact sins they are, we do, know. do we know the exact sins yeah, they are? Then go know. ahead. What are the exact sins? Muhammad took the life of people. He assassinated people, it said so. Genocide upon Croatia. We know Muhammad forced himself onto the former. It yeah. was an 18 language. There is a word for that. I'm not going to mention that. We know Muhammad ordered killing of people. We know Muhammad still. We know Muhammad worship pagan gods. We know Muhammad breaks the Ten Commandments. That's only some of his sins. Muhammad is pretty, pretty sinful man. What about Jesus? Jesus is never recited to have done a sin. In the Bible it states, and this is in 1 Peter 2.22, and this is about Jesus, he committed no sin and no deceit. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. Even 
even in their own scripture. So Yahya, a Muslim here, is talking about his own scripture that Jesus apparently never sinned. Well, it says in Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim, volume 4, page 1261, Abu Hugari reported that Allah's messenger said the Satan touched every son of Adam, including you, including me, except for who? Except for who? Except for Mary and her son, and Jesus uh, and the son of Mary. And in Hebrew 4, again in the Bible it states, and we have a high priest who was tempted in every point, like you, like me, like Yahya, but yet without sin. This is Hebrew 4 talking directly. Yes, we compare some of the sins of Muhammad with putting that with the sinless, perfect person. The question still stands. Do you follow someone who ordered you to kill and genocide the people of the world? You ordered someone who goes your why do we follow a sinner? Why would we ever follow a sinner if we have, given, uh, have been given a person who has claimed to be sinless, even in the Quran, for example, in Surah 1919, looking at it, uh -huh. and I am the only messenger of your Lord to announce you a faultless son. A faultless son who is Jesus Christ in Surah 1919, the only one who is not touched by Satan. So the order yeah, to proclaim while Jesus was born from virgin in the feeling this that is, the word Jesus of God Bible. is going to who live and dwell and us. According to your Bible, not according to so the Quran, to thank Jesus. Muhammad had a natural birth. She, he was born from the sexual relationship of men and women. We saw Jesus was sinless, yet Muhammad committed Let me show you sin. The and Why he don't you go the went against the Ten Commandments. Why you are a coward? Nah. To put Let's the say, on me. we so already talked about some of the violence Muhammad did. Let's say, some of the violence. You what are, are those violence Muhammad did and compare that with the Hello? Jesus? Yes, well, let's look at the very last surah that according to Muslims, Muhammad wrote. So, surah 9, 29, he wrote, uh, or it is written in the Quran, I should say, fight against those who believe not in Allah, nor in the last day, nor forbid that which has been forbidden by Allah and his messengers, and those who acknowledge not the religion of truth, i.e. Islam, among the people of the scriptures, Jews and Christians, until they pay the judger with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Now it doesn't matter what the situation is, it doesn't matter if it was circumstantial or not. It doesn't matter if you're supposed to do it or not and follow, oh great Muhammad who is your best example. It doesn't matter, he said, at that point, much, much violence is needed. He proclaims violence. Now this is very, very contradictory to what Jesus, many, many years before him, 600 years before him, was teaching. Jesus never teached to do violence. Many Christians, Mennonites, for example, teach pacifism. They say even that uh, so far. Jesus teaches violence is only to him when he comes back. He's going to judge the world. Yet, yet. The law of Moses. Mohammed did not children, yeah, 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 women, yeah, 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 men, please. entire country, violence. entire people. Mohammed did not only teach of violence, yeah. he practiced violence. He thought it was all right to take the life of other people. You're he violent. practiced that and he of put that in his holy book, which he claimed to be the birth of the entire Allah. Town. If one person is who do you follow? God. Do you follow someone who tells you love your enemies and pray for them? 16. Or do you follow men who tells you kill those people who do not accept me as their prophet? You've got to make a choice. And this is the choice. Your choice has its own consequences. Your sinless God is an choice. has its own consequences. Your sinless God 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 he look at what is the, the what day in life look Imagine, like. You know, what kind of miracles God. did your Jesus make? Miracles Jesus made. Oh, Jesus made many, many miracles. 
Uh, I'm just going to say some example here, it's because he did so many miracles. If we were to explain every single miracle Jesus did, we would be here the whole day and Yahya wouldn't have a voice at the end of it. So a couple of miracles are healing the lepers, healing the blind, calming the storm, walking on water, feeding the 4,000, feeding 5,000. Oh, but like we were hearing before from Michael, he raised from the dead, which is the greatest miracle ever to have been performed. And he raised the dead himself, looking at Lazarus in John 11. Jesus had the power to make miracles. He comes to Jesus had the power you to know, do the things see how much only he, he God himself can do. Jesus yeah, do, had do, the attributes of God. Like and in his life, he did a lot of, a lot of miracles. Yet, when people challenge Muhammad to do miracles, he never did one. Philip thought, what he's going to do now? He said, oh, people before me did miracles. You did not believe them. Therefore, he did why don't you, why don't you dare and give us miracles. the story of the Canaanian woman so, when he, if you are not a Jew, Jesus you are not a Christian, you are no, no less than a dog. You are dog. Even though it's not a dog, you don't want to listen to me. Matthew 16, so, Jesus was born from a virgin. Born from a virgin. Muhammad born from the homosexual relationship. There is nothing miracle born. about the birth of born. Muhammad. Yeah, nothing. Well, why don't and you talk Jesus about the Canaanian woman? Sinless, oh, here, you may yet Muhammad sinned. He sin. Heal her mother. Sin. Many, many sins. And you can Muhammad hear me, yeah? encouraged others to come about sin Muhammad. as well. While Jesus Why stands out as perfect, Muhammad. Muhammad stands out Muhammad, as Muhammad, simple. Muhammad. Why don't you talk Jesus about Jesus? Lots of miracles. Against Muhammad the did woman. zero miracles. Why don't you talk about Muhammad couldn't do a miracle apparently. He was only a messenger. Why a mere messenger. A so how come yeah, Jesus could do so many miracles even in the Quran? Yeah. So this is your Quran, Surah 3, 49, the person yeah. you're slagging off the whole time. Right. Surah 3, 49, and I, Jesus, heal him who was born blind. I'm a leper and I bring to life at last leave permission. That's your Surah talking here. Surah 3, 49. Jesus permitted, uh, did miracles. Why did Muhammad never do a miracle in the Quran? But only the hadiths later, all of a sudden, start talking about miracles that he apparently did, which the Quran never says about. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Jesus, there, is, there was a purpose in the death and resurrection of Jesus. Jesus. You the all do not to reflect. Jesus talk about the seven layer of heaven, the seven layer of the cross, no, 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 no. by crucifixion for the sin of mankind, so you that deny people what can is deniable. spend eternity with God. Yet Muhammad, death of Muhammad, had no Just answer purpose. Me one question. He was poisoned by a Jew woman. Just answer me. And he suffered. He okay, suffered okay. without any purpose. Yes. A compared to your God, who died on the cross, he suffered who much, much more. Who do you follow? Do you to follow God a perfect, bloody, sinless, curse, and go to hell for three days? I will speak to Prophet Muhammad, died on the lap of his wife. Sinful man who just did man, nothing yeah. for you. And Muhammad, you Muhammad died. Muhammad was poisoned and he just died. There was nothing spectacular to it. There was nothing that happened. But what happened to Jesus when he died? What happened to Jesus when he died? He rose again three days and the tomb was empty. The tomb was empty. Historical evidence. That, and it's still empty. They have not found the body. He's still alive today. Lord Jesus is alive. He rose. He reigns. And he's going to come and judge who's reigning? A dead man or a man who is in heaven? Who's reigning? Lord Jesus Christ is reigning. Lord and Jesus. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. So come and worship to your Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Take a picture. Amen. Take a picture. Amen. Amen.